Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we will just continue with our tribe, see where everything goes, and see if we get more migra migration or not. We at least have a pregnancy. So the tribe is growing, we are getting very big. We are currently 27. So let's see how things go and how big we need, uh, how big we go. But I have to start building another house. So it is spring now. That I already tell the guys to get food. No, we'll give it the day after this. We will change them to food. Let's just make sure we have added everything again. And then we where's our builders? Let's tell the building guys we want another straw hut. And we will build that one here this time. Let's make it high priority. Let him go. So at some stage you will have to decide when a migration comes and even if it's a, a good migration, is it worth taking them or you not destroying your resources? Currently we're not there yet, but uh, that will definitely start happening and uh, you will then have to make decisions. Are you going to take them? Are you going to leave them? Currently we're not in that situation, so we are fine. But you will get to situations like that where you will have to make a call. Okay, I gave the guys a break, which I forgot, so we can actually... We can actually change the, the food guys now. Let's take the eight guys off here, put all eight of them on food. And when they, this day is done, we will put the policy back to, to them working. They should have had a nice break now. And the food has gone down a lot, so we have to start. Okay, so it's nightfall. Let's push this up so that the next day they can start. We already are losing our heart here as well. There they go, at least everybody still has a place to sleep. Okay, so let's see what happens. Hopefully they can bring in some berries and stuff. How many idle people do we have? Seven. It's all the children, so it's fine. We have a lot of breakdowns currently. And it, we have two pregnant ladies, so we are still growing. How is our... Okay, I haven't built it there yet because of all the breakdowns that we're having. But we are currently doing really good. Food. 
food is still looking good but hopefully we can get some berries or something to help because our fish has fallen dramatically but that was because I did give them a break all our fires are running nicely this is going to break down very soon this storage house looks very nice here at the social area, I really like that let's see, did I do anything here? 35% got two more breakdowns here with the well and the oven but they don't really matter We should actually tell the raw guys, where are they, to get us a little bit more straw now. Let's make it 150 because we are building more straw houses. And this also uses some straw. can see we ran out of straw basically so let's tell the building guys while they are waiting they can help get us some straw I would really like to see if another migration moves in is it going to be a family again is it going to be different people what's it going to be this time but let's wait and see if <laughs> if there comes another one and i hope you guys like the long weekend that's starting today and be safe unfortunately because my straw is so little it will take them now a while to to build this hut but it's still fine because currently we have enough living space it's if there pops out the migration we might uh, have a little bit of a space issue and depending on how big that migration is they at least are picking up our reeds nicely again Let's quickly see. It was just as that two pregnancies currently. As the straw comes in, they quickly take it to build this out. If another migration comes in, I will pick up my, put another person on building definitely. I will put another one on a row as well. Food I'm happy with with the eight people that we have. That's, for now it's a lot. But as the tribe grows, you will have to pick that number up.
and where your problem can come in is if you have a lot of old people that's not working and you don't have enough working people then you're going to be in a little bit of a problem but currently we have a lot of children that would soon let's check them out quickly eight years very soon very soon very soon why is she not working that means we have somebody extra let's see if we put that person on building to all the other groups yes we had somebody that was loafing a bit so the building guys now has someone extra that can help them that's good i don't know how i missed that one she's still not working do i have another extra person let's see if i add another one okay maybe wait maybe that was just because the shift were over already let's just give it the time to see we should see that in the morning why did this happen i didn't maybe I, by accident i clicked on it wait okay whoa, 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 whoa. wait 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 this is the problem we have another group of migrants let's check them out it's a girl two young girls and two old guys we'll take them we'll take them let's see where they are over here how old are you again i missed okay you're gonna be an old person now but we have two two very young females that's always good for the tribe let's see this one none of them have negative traits that i can currently see so excellent excellent that now pushes us to 32 people so when and when the next migration comes we will really have to think about it first not just accept like i did now but uh, currently i think we can still afford it it might be a mistake the next one we must consider carefully so we have two extra people i'm going to add another person here let's add two people there let's see everything looks nice do we have somebody not working no yes we have those two so if i have two extra people let's add them to food and let's see now is all the groups still fine all the groups are still fine so we have a lot of workforce currently which is great for us so things are actually currently looking good and uh, they almost finished that okay and another one broke down but currently we are able to support it so still good for now but we are getting exceptionally high in population so we will have to see how long they can survive uh, or when we see we start losing people or food doesn't make it anymore we might have to migrate ourselves but i would like to avoid it for as long as possible but that means we must really monitor our numbers but currently we can still sustain it the big challenge will come when our elderly gets to high to see if we can maintain food levels then see some people are sleeping outside because this hut is not done yet 
and that lady gave birth that's great for us so please fix finish this hut i will have to build another hut a little bit later because if one hut breaks down we are in trouble now so where i had space the whole time now i have run out of that space Okay, they fixed that one. This one will be finished as well now. Or very soon, hopefully. Let's just quickly check my groups again. Great, 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 great. And I still have not finished this out. Even my builders are helping. Come on, guys. They have at least continued working on the temple as well. So that's good. Soon it's going to be summer. Then rose hip should at least pick up more than it currently is. And uh, then we'll push everything to rose hip again for the summer month. But this is amazing to see all these people. This tribe is getting really big. And it looks like all the adult population at least is working. Let's see if any of the children too weak, too weak, too weak. So the children still cannot work. That's fine. We have a massive adult population currently. 15 adults, 6 elderly, 10 children. So we have 10 children that will soon do their part. I almost missed that migration with this that I moved here. Luckily the game paused and I had to see what uh, what was going on. Is it done? Yes. I will have to build another one. Um, I think I should also build it here. But let's let them gather a few little bit of straw first. We got a whole lot of clams, a little bit of honeycomb, a little bit of hazelnut coming through. So we have a good mix of food for the people. But this is a really big tribe now. I really am enjoying it, but I can see problems in our future. But for now, I will enjoy it. And we will see how, how we go through the winter with a tribe that's starting to become so big. Fishing at least should help us if we have a lot of fishing people. And we can maybe make it 7-3. Three hunters and uh, seven fishing guys. Our straw has picked up very nicely, so let's let's build that second or let's build another hut just so that we have that extra space if one of the other ones break down. But that means I am gonna pick up my straw again. So build that and then at our, not crafting, at our raw guys, please make that now 200. Okay, 
Now the reason I'm building straw and not uh, reed is reed will become a problem. We have technically four buildings that needs uh, reed. There is still a lot of reed, but we have seen in with the previous tribe that at some stage you do run into trouble. And they are handling the food currently okay. But let's keep monitoring it. Because I could change them to only go to get a rose heap and that will massively boost we will have a lot of rose heap again let's just monitor if i'm not happy with how much food i bring in i'm gonna do that change Looks like they are getting a decent mix. But let's see if, if my fish falls under a hundred, then we will do that change. So it is falling. Let's let's do that change. Food. You guys can stop, 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 stop. Get me rosy. Let's push the rosy again. And I think I'm gonna tell my builders as well. They can actually stop with the straw. We have a lot of guys that can help with that now. There you go, the rosy is picking up massively like always. So the other thing is why you are playing with a tribe, you must just see and monitor specifically your spring summer to see what food comes in the best and then you push on that one. Because it won't help you to spread it so wide and not getting what you need. How far have they got in the air? 38. So this is, this is good. They are building it a lot, which is great. Any new pregnancies? Nothing, just those two. Any of the children ready to work? Not yet. This time we have a lot of straw, so they should be able to finish this very quickly. At least everybody has a place to sleep. It's just like I said, we need that extra space that if one of the huts goes down. They still have a place to sleep because usually stuff like that happens in the winter and then they will get very very unhappy very very quickly and we have another pregnancy that's very good let's quickly see 
she wow okay she's a part of a big family and she has a child already and now she will have a second child and her mother is the leader of the tribe so great very good And the game is going to be real interesting with a lot of these people uh, or your tribe getting this big. So I really hope they will, in one of the coming updates, bring in something like farming because you are going to struggle to support big populations. And like I mentioned, the start screen shows or what looks like farming to me. So hopefully that's coming very soon. We will see once they share some more details about what they're doing with the next update, the knowledge sharing one, what is their plan. Currently there's not really a lot of info of how they're going to do that. The only thing I know is that this uh, groups that's migrating to you are going to give you some info sharing that's the only thing I currently know but it will be very good to see so both these hearts have skulls that one has this one doesn't and I finish it okay so now we should be good like this one broke down now, they still have a place to sleep. That's that's nice. Autumn is very slowly approaching. Our Rose hips are looking amazing. See, with only a hundred, most of this plant should grow back. There are still a lot over there. There's a little bit over here. There's a few over there. This side, there is over there. So, there is a lot. But, uh, like I mentioned in the previous tribe, they did start to struggle. But if I have too many of these uh, straw hearts, un they will start to get a little bit unhappy at some stage. I will maybe have to build a, a third one. But let's leave that until we get there. Currently everybody's mood is happy. Looks like they're chilling like at the fire. some of the plants are growing back because I'm not uh, destroying it too badly both of these will soon need replacing But currently it looks like we should be able to maintain our rose heap is picking up very very nicely. Let's just keep monitoring to see if we have that extra workers. Not yet. Because I might add another one to building. Crafting at least it looks like 
Oh, wow, okay, we might want to add two more spears. So let's go to the crafting guys, go to the spears, add two more for me. Keep yourself busy. Hopefully they this time quickly fix the baskets because the previous uh, time they broke we lost a lot of rose heap before the winter started so hopefully they can keep that up. All the fires are burning. Let's also just tell the raw guys with all that fire. Maybe pick the sticks up to 150 as well. Six idle, and that should be the children. One, two. Yeah, that's all the children. How is the building going? Forty two percent. They are building this temple extremely fast this time. And thanks everybody for all the comments on the live stream video. It's much appreciated. And my other video that I had on Monday. You guys are really great. Thanks and uh, please keep it up. And please tell me about your game. How are you faring with the new update? How big are your tribes? I've seen some of you have tribes that's 40 people big. I'm almost there. Almost. Seven more people and I'll be there as well. And I believe that tribes must be very difficult to, to maintain. Let's also tell the, not the building guys, the, the raw guys, that we just pick up the reed maybe to 150 as well. And let's make this 50. Maybe pick ropes up to 30 as well. And maybe this to 30 as well. If we can maintain that 150 of reeds in the long run, we we will build that third reed hut, which should keep the happiness intact. But we will see when we get there. Okay, so it is autumn. The next day I will change to hunting and fishing. And we see with this mass amount of people how that will go. Okay, so they are going to sleep. Let's do that change now. Food, 10 of you guys can be off. Let's change all this back. It's just because I might forget um, in the summer to turn this back on. 
and then let's go to hunters let's put three hunters there and the other seven we put on fishing there you go so let's see how that goes In the winter we will be on free years. Okay, so we have one child that can help. So let's add that child to the raw guys. What's happening at my building that we lose some people that's too old to work now? doesn't look like it so why is our groups out now okay, but let's leave that one as soon as one of the other children are ready they will in any case fill that position now did fishing go 70 fish okay fishing is doing great hunting also did well And we have a lot of breakdowns again. So it might have been good for us to have picked up the reeds a little bit. Our straw looks nice. We have a lot of straw. Is my building guy still collecting straw? No. There you can see the meat and the fish are looking good. Very good people. Now they will put new fresh ones here. There you go. Excellent. Currently things are running very, very smoothly. They have finished basically all the last of the rose hips but fishing and hunting is doing exceptionally well so food should not be a problem the arts keep breaking down now but we have more than enough raw material to fix everything let's see what they are about to go on they're going to on this deer where are you over here there's a bunch of them a whole lot of deer let's see where that uh, hunters are they are first gonna okay let's see this one is storing meat what are you doing stripping and you are why don't I see what you're going to do? Stripping, stripping, hunting. So let's follow her. She's going to go hunting now. Grabbing her spear over there. Okay, let's see how successful you're going to be. Speed it up a little bit. That deer are far away. See her skills. Her skill level is very, very good. Her will is okay. Everything is good. Her skill is very, very good. So let's see how successful she is at hunting. There's some bees over here. There she goes. I 
and now she's a little bit tired. A lot of deer over here. There she goes, going into that run. Is she going to ambush or is she going to attack? Looks like she's attacking. There you go. Stabbing it, stabbing it again. A third time that deer is taking punishment. She missed. Missed again. She's trying to get to it, but that deer is... <laughs> I think she's deciding is it still worth chasing that deer. You've wounded it, lady. You have to get it. I don't think time is running out. I don't think she's going to get that deer. Let's see, she, it looks like she's contemplating if she should still go for it or not. And that deer is gone, lady. Nikaya, that one is getting away from you. Wait, she has another chance. Maybe she can prove me wrong. She's giving everything now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Another two shots. That deer is tough. That deer is very, very tough. But she's not giving up. But it's getting away from her again. No, she looks like she, I don't know. She will impress me if she catches up and get it. This deer already took a few shots. Uh, she's going to give up very, very soon. This will be a failed hunt. She hasn't given up yet, but that deer is getting a lot of space between the two of them. This is going to be her last chance if she doesn't do it now. Well, she's not giving up. I must give her credit for that. But she's not going to get that one. There you go. She gave up. Dear one, Nakaya zero. But that dear, I must say, is one of the strongest ones I have seen in this game but she tried we can give her credit for that she did try
there you go you can see that that one broke down this one will soon follow but it's nice to detail where you could see the the color between them and the other ones does change so you know when they are about to break down so they're going to carry out all the fish which i don't like how is my groups looking there you go all of them are filled do i have extra workers not yet not yet so there's two of them that should be able to help soon that baby was born let's see her mother and her father are at least together And we're halfway in autumn already. Let's see how far our temple have gotten. Almost to 50%, 46%. Come on guys, please carry the fish back. Thank you. And you can see here now clearly the difference between a new one and one that's about to break down. It's very nice details that I have put in. But hunting and fishing are doing, both are doing very well. We might finish this temple in the next two episodes after this one. If they continue building it with this speed, we still have a whole winter to come and they are building very, very quickly. But as soon as our adult population becomes elderly, it's going to be very interesting to see how we maintain everything. And of course you will always push to keep your food levels up first. Make sure that you have enough food, even though, even if some of your stuff break down, you can always fix that later. But if you lose people, you're not going to get them back. And when other villagers or villages and freight start coming where you have to build walls and stuff, that's going to change this game massively. Because now it's easy to maintain your buildings. 
um, but as soon as you build walls and stuff it's going to be a little bit more challenging almost those two i think i'm also going to put them maybe we should try to build some walls since our population is bigger than usual just to see if we can maintain it but i will need a lot of logs first and for that i'll need a little bit more workers maybe these two as soon as they can But it is, I must say, I am really enjoying the bigger tribe currently. I might regret saying that soon. But for now, it's it's very nice to have the extra people. It looks, it starts to look like a nice, decent village. And I just love the, the motion of all the people. That's one of the things I like about this game. The individuals actually does matter a little bit. And they do stuff and they are going to improve, just improve more and more. And I must say, I really can't wait for that. I'm very happy that I built a second one for meat because our meat are also picking up nicely now. And we're soon going to be in three years. I just keep monitoring these two because they're going to be the next ones that's ready to start helping. Look, look, it's getting there. It's finally getting there. I might decide to build a small stone circle around it again or something, we'll see. Seven idol, do we have an adult? That's uh, now not able to work again. Let's quickly check. If I check quickly, I don't see. And we have another pregnancy. Let's see how many children we have. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now it's the seven, seven children. very very soon as soon one more day then you'll see we'll be in three years i think and it will be the first time that we're in three years where our temple has done so well so both of these should then start working when they're 13 because they are saying currently they're still too weak. 
But this looks nice to see all that people around the fire. I'll maybe slow it down the next night just to see how things are looking with all those people there. Everybody having a little bit of a breakfast. All the stuff looks maintained here at the bottom. We should actually pick up bones to 30 as well. Let's quickly do that. Make bones 30. Let's pick this up to 15. Let's pick this up to 15 as well. Let's go to crafting. Let's make this a little bit more because we have a lot of lot more people. Let's make it 20. There you go, we're in three years now. And we have came very far with all the extra people that we have. But I do think as soon as the adult population gets older, we might have. And we have another pregnancy. We have two, two more pregnancies. We are really starting to grow now. This is going to make this game very, very fun and interesting. Keep bringing in the fish. Hunting has slowed down a little bit, but we have a massive amount of dry meat, so that's fine. You two must come to the party now. Fix my building people, fix it. There you go. I might even decide to make this another, add another two year. Fifty three percent. So as soon as you go to fifty percent, it pops up like this. Nice. Let's quickly see. Okay, so she must be too weak to work. There you go. So as soon as one of these children are ready, they will automatically replace replace her. You're 13 and you're too weak to work. Why? What is your? Okay, you have a, you have a weak skill or something. Not skilled attribute which says you are weak that's unfortunate both of you I'm 
Okay. But we will manage. So currently both of the migrations that we have had were both four people. So I wonder if that's the standard size. Do we get bigger ones? Do we get smaller ones? But so far both of them were four people. People are really enjoying the fires. A lot of stuff breaking down. As long as you can maintain pregnancy levels where the ages will differ a lot, um, you should be able to maintain when you get into that trouble what we will we will see we have started to our population has started to become older and we will soon see if we can maintain what we have or not Our meat has picked up very nicely, almost 100. Our fish we are maintaining at about 230. A lot of fresh fish coming in. And we're off past winter. Halfway, past halfway. And I must say, this one has held out long. A lot of fresh meat coming in, so that will push us way past, if they don't eat it up all now, will push us past the 100. And see our builders were busy, they didn't hang a lot of fish or meat up. The eight-year-old is working already, where some of the 13-year-olds are not even helping yet. How many idle people do we currently have? Seven still. Is that old lady? 
and a few children okay and there you go they've hanged up you can see some greenery starting to show change of the season is coming So we'll just have to monitor these two weak ones to see when they can actually start helping. So that would be, usually it was 13, but it doesn't look like it's 13 anymore. Because this child is already 13, very good charisma and will, but uh, not a strength to work yet. Let's just check my policies a little bit. Policies are fine. Not going to worry too much about that. How old is our leader now? 57. Here you go, you can see our meat is now 105. We have picked up on the fishing, we're 200 now, 240. It's not what I want to see. So the two ladies that give birth, so they are carrying the babies like always around their waist with that uh, sacks. I would really have liked those two to start uh, chopping some wood for us. But not yet. But overall, I am happy with how we have how far we have gotten so far. I mean, we're almost 60% on our temple in three years. We can actually tell them to pick up the rocks as well a little bit, the, the rock guys. Where's our rocks? Let's pick that up to 20. Hundred and nineteen on the meat. With 14 still raw, 240 fish, 21 raw fish. The big question will be, will we be able to maintain it in the next episode? Because at some stage it will become a challenge. Four, four, two, eight, nine, 
I think we have our children is a is good ages because as the adults get older some of them will start to replace them one already replaced a lady that's too old And these two will soon start helping. Okay, so we made it to spring. We have grown a lot. We had to grow our village with two more rats. Because of all the people we have. And even if I quickly look at it, we must maybe in the next episode build another one. But for now, things are looking fine. We are growing. And our next milestone should be 40 um, on population. We are so close to it. We are at 36. So thank you for watching, guys. Let's see what happens in the next episode. Let me know what, what you think about the episode, what you want to see in the next one. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one.